Welcome back to More to Marketing on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Yasmin, and today we are in Omaha, Nebraska with Michelle Giobalisco from Yahoo for Business. Welcome to the program, Michelle. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. We're so excited to have you and talk about Yahoo for Business. So as we know, Yahoo has been around since around 1994 um, and has gone through so many iterations. So for those of us who may not know about what Yahoo for Business is, tell us a little bit about it and what we can expect from joining that specific program. Yes. uh, Yahoo for Business actually has a lot of great innovations currently happening. Um, There's a couple that I can't mention, but uh, you'll be reading about them soon. But we're really taking action in the ad tech space to help connect advertisers to people's passions where they're they're at. So connected TV, um, being aware of identity issues, and really being able to help advertisers reach those audiences where their customers are. And so there's a lot of innovation happening and a lot of exciting things that are coming up for Yahoo for Business. So it's just, you also have the consumer side, but really, um, really great things happening on all fronts. That's amazing to see that there's constantly iteration and innovation going on with Yahoo, because my next question was really, how is Yahoo Business consistently keeping up with changes on other platforms, such as Google My Business and others that are in that competitive space and always iterating as well? Uh, You know, uh, listening to our customers, really um, finding out where their pain points are, and then making those changes to match uh, what the customer's needs are. Um, By being customer first, we really are being able to hear what they want to do and then innovate from there. And it sounds like what you're saying is that you do read a lot of data, which as marketers we know is very important to read the data and to be able to see what our users want. So as we know, some privacy laws are going to come into effect. How do you see that changing and innovating things that um, matter when it comes to analytics for programs like Yahoo My uh, Business? Yeah, Yahoo Yahoo for Business definitely um, is seeing some headwinds with the privacy laws. Um, I think customers or and consumers need to really educate themselves on what data is being collected and how it's being used. Um, so that way it cannot be used against them in the quarter law. And so you're, we really are going to see um, innovation in that area as we move forward, especially um, now that you have, there's going to be a need for a federal law and uh, there's going to be some challenges that come with it, but also opportunities. So it sounds like as we are watching data and we are going to have more privacy laws, marketers are going to have to get more creative about the ways that they are reading analytics and how they do address their consumers from that analytic. So tell me, as we're seeing changes in marketing happening every day, we know these privacy laws are coming and we know that all these platforms are constantly iterating. What do you believe is important for marketers on both sides of the platforms to be paying attention to as changes are coming in the next few years? Uh, really to be educated about what data is being collected and how it's using, how it's used. So that way you uh, make sure that you're following the law, but then also being able to adjust your marketing strategies accordingly. Amazing. And in that way, so we see that, you know, we have Google and Yahoo, and then we have the social platforms, a little different from those search engine platforms with similar features. How do you think things will differ for the social platforms versus the search engine platforms? No, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. I think, um, the way that the data is collected is definitely uh, it, that's where the change is going to occur. But it, it essentially, uh, everybody's going to have to play in the same sandbox. Amazing. Well, you heard it here. We have to be paying attention and really understand our data and where it's coming from. Michelle, thank you so much for your time and joining us on today's segment. Thank you so much. To find out more about Michelle and all of her amazing work with Yahoo for Business, visit us at dailyadbrief.com and we'll see you next time on More to Marketing.
Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.